Like, guys, one time they went on a date to a cow farm. <laughs> Andrew loves cows. So they said, dinner, no, drinks, no, cow farm. Yeah, that's it. And I remember thinking that there is no one else for her in that exact moment. a beautiful singer and has a love for musical theater. Well, one night when I was visiting the two, naturally, Elise and I had to have a Cats the Musical sing-along, as you do, right? Um, and I remember looking over at Andrew when it was Elise's turn to sing, I don't know, Mr. Mistopheles or something, and I, I kid you not, the smile that he had on his face would break your heart. His love for Elise was radiating out of him. It was kind of like a scene in a movie where the, the camera cuts to the guy smiling uncontrollably at the girl that he knows he's going to marry one day. I knew as soon as I met Elise and we were driving on our way to the little Airbnb for your birthday that uh, it was like you guys, yeah, you guys were definitely going to get married. Like I knew, I knew immediately. I knew like, like, oh yeah, yeah, duh, you know. So, um, you know, and Elise, great pick. You know, he is a, a PhD. He's basically a PhD who could win a bar fight, probably. You know, so you know he. Uh, you know, I mean, Andrew's. You know, in, you know, archetypal super super boy here. You know, so you know, it's been. It, you know, it's been amazing being your friend. You know, it's amazing. It's been amazing seeing you. You know, you guys grow together. It's been amazing having you guys. You know get married you know this has been a beautiful day you know and I'm very very happy for you guys you know and I hope I wish you guys you know whole lifetime whole eternity of happiness you know and you know it's been an honor and a privilege to call you my friend you know and I love you felt so much you know and I love you too to us. Our first date, I actually went back and looked at my journal and I wrote, I quote, huh, dot, dot, dot. Weird, that was actually really, really fun. <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> never met anyone like you and I feel so lucky to have met you. You make my life so fun but not just that. You are kind, have similar values and goals. You are the rare person who matches my insane level of excitement and curiosity for literally everything. I promise to always live in the moment with you during all of our future beach days, home improvements, and the few hours we have together on our busy work days. I promise to always be kind. Whether we are making each other's lunches or cannot agree on which Netflix movie to watch. I promise to support and be there for you through any difficult time or great accomplishment. I promise to always learn from you, whether it's just a small skill or a major life lesson. I promise to always be honest and always trust you. While all of those traits I've described encompass you well and are reasons that I love you, there is also a deep, unexplainable knowing that you are my person. And I now understand the exact feeling my grandma told me about.
After one of the first dates with Elise, she called me up and said that she met this wonderful guy that took her to see a rare fuzzy fox. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really happy that Andrew is joining our family. I, I look forward to many great adventures, may, maybe perfecting some uh, sourdough uh, ghost pepper bread or, or maybe building a barn when you finally get your cow, uh, you know, once you get your farm. <laughs> we look forward to spending many more special times together with them and also with our new extended family. Anna and Elise, you are a great match. You both have chosen wisely. Your love for each other is wonderful to see. We wish the best to you today and always. Congratulations. So Elise and Andrew, I know you all will have a wonderful life together because of the way your personalities complement each other. But mainly it's the love I see in the way you both share your feelings together and support each other emotionally. Here's to an amazing chapter in your lives. Mama says. <laughs> Thank you guys. Everybody raise their glass and toast with me to uh, Andrew and Elise on their great journey that I have no doubt will be completely awesome. <laughs> we love you both. And so I vow to always treat you with the respect of the day that we met, to always do the little things, to encourage adventure in our lives, to love you and support you through every hard thing that comes our way. To love you not from a place of control, but freedom, in a way that makes you feel more free because of our life together. So the authority vested in me as a commissioner of civil marriages, I now pronounce that you are married as husband and wife. You may now seal this moment with a kiss. <laughs> probably still singing show tunes and Andrew as her audience smiling away and along with all that ease you're gonna have so many adventures together and I can't hear about all of them over long phone calls and FaceTimes and still hear that same sparkle in your voice that you had since the beginning I love you both so much cheers and congratulations and I love you I promise to hear what you have to say, and I promise to hold your hand through difficult times and always put us first. 
I promise to always be more than just your legal partner, but also your friend, comedian, adventurous, and husband. Our future is filled with groundbreaking performances, discoveries on Mars, and many wonderful times ahead. always try to live up to your safety standards, even if I don't feel like it. <laughs> to be fully present when you need support, to love you forever, and to show that to you always.